Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, are so welcome to the still that is given us together. Today I'm meditating upon, act in faith, trust him because he delivers. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. Exodus chapter 14 verse 15. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go for it. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you just read. In the front is the Red Sea, behind is Pharaoh and his army. In front of the Israelites was an impossibility, and behind is an imminent death or brutal slavery. In front, they don't see any option, and behind, it is an avoidable danger. The beauty of this verse is acting in faith. One man trusted that the Lord, that his Lord is powerful, and he will provide a way out for his people. Acting in faith does not mean to overconfident it means to stop paying attention to what is going on in the world and listen to what the word of god is telling us in exodus chapter 14 verse 15 the lord says to moses why are you crying out to me tell the israelites to move on the lord was expecting the israelites not to sob over their circumstances but to involve in action by faith against human understanding and obedience to his word in result the lord promises that he would fight for them Let's play one silly game and see what you feel. Pull one of your cir- current circumstances of dif- or difficulties you are dealing with. Then put your name can resolve and put your name can achieve the goal. Does it seem like life is stuck with no hope around it? If you can resolve this by your own, you not supposed to have this difficulty. Now do the same and replace the front beginning part with my lord almighty and put your name will achieve the goal what do you think now so if we put our lord first and listen to him and take necessary action we will be able to achieve what is impossible just like israelites cross the red sea now you know what to do hurry up stop sobbing listen to his voice act in faith and obey god's word and share your experience of the lord has fought for you this message also gives a promise right here today. The promise is, Once God has spoken twice, have I heard this, that the power belongs to God. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, I step forward in faith knowing that returning is not a choice for your people. As I move forward, Lord, I want you to be with me now and forevermore so I can be blessed and be a blessing to all who have given to me. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a good day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.